Hello and welcome back. I'm Bebal Jill and this is a tutorial for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. This is part two and we will look at importing with distribution offices. What do we do now? Well, one option is to purchase everything automatically with rubles or dollars. But if you play cosmonaut mode, that's not how you do it. Um, if you play um, hard mode, that is. Sometimes your fuel stations are not doing what you set up the rest of your um, buildings to do. Just uncheck auto purchase resources and it won't purchase resources anymore. Um, which I should have done in the first place. But now the gas station has something and to turn that off, just go in and say clear all. Here, you can see that cost of delivery per one ton, if you do rubles, is a dollar or one ruble 82. However, if you change to dollars, your import goes to 60 because the next border that uses dollars is up there. It's really far away. So um, that changes depending on where you are on the map. But what we're going to do is we're just going to say clear all. It will keep the fuel that it had, but it won't use any other or it won't purchase any other fuel like this. Great. Um, what's next? Um, you need to get resources what we need is at least one cement truck we need at least one to two oil tanks and here's a thing where you may want to use two distribution centers because sometimes a tiny amount of fuel or bitumen will stick in one of your um, oil tank vehicles and then they won't pick up anything else besides that i think they fixed that recently so keep that in mind open hulls these will be for steel brick, board, and prefab panels. I just do four because that makes sense. And then a covered hull um, is going to pick up um, mechanical components and electrical components at the beginning. If you want to play really hardcore, you're also going to buy food, clothes, and meat. That's for cosmonaut mode. And if you want to do that, I highly recommend set up a separate distribution office that only takes care of that and nothing else. They can also deliver to this warehouse where you can pick up that for your city or deliver directly to the city. Um, but yeah, build a separate distribution office for that because that's important that they don't do anything else. They shouldn't get distracted. And since we are doing cosmonaut mode um, setup too, I will show you that with the small distribution office. Just put that guy here uh, and get it built. Also in dollars. And here we go. Now let's set up this um, distribution office to do what we want it to do. First, the source. We get everything from, um, from the border. We don't want to unload, that's for exporting. We're going to load. We're going to load steel. You don't have to specify this, but I rather do it so I know what's actually happening, and later on I can just uncheck it when I produce it myself. Boards, prefab panels, bricks. Um, also mechanical components and electrical components. They're not the same as electronics. Just make sure. We also need to buy cement to make concrete. And I feel like, yeah, fuel and bitumen. Those are all the things that we need. If you use mods, use a couple smaller distribution offices that are more specialized to whatever you need. Um, but for right now, this is fine. Then tell your distribution office, you wanna drop off gravel at the gravel storage until whatever percentage you tell it. Now, it looks like I can't pick it up because we haven't actually bought any dumpers. Uh, dumper, again, the modded ones are great but we're going to use normal ones. And this one has 25 tons, but it's super slow. But especially for importing, that's probably fine. I'm going to buy two of these. And now um, you have to make sure that you say, hey, pick up the gravel because that's what we want and unload the gravel here. You, again, you don't have to specify this. It's just easier, I think, to see when you do it this way. Next, this guy needs bitumen. Um, and that one I like to be full. I don't. I don't like when there's just a little bitumen because when you need it, you need it. When you don't need it, you don't need it. Next guy, cement, same thing. The cement guy is going to get gravel from this um, storage unit. So that's fine. Then, thanks autosave. 
every time autosave shows up, the um, clicker is not there anymore. And the last thing, or last two things, there's fuel here. Again, I like to keep my storage as full. There's no reason to keep them empty because when you need them, you need them. Um, and the nice thing with the distribution office is everything that you already selected is yellow, so you know what you're not missing. The last thing, I'm just assigning this one instead of the individual storages. It's just a little easier and it's a little faster to load and unload. And here again, I specify what I'm actually going to um, drop off, which is all of these items and nothing else. Um, and that is a start for this section. Now just unpause the game. These guys get their instructions and that is all great. I would say go in here and limit the amounts of what uh, what you want. Steel, yeah, keep it there. Al aluminum, we're not going to use. Wood, we're not going to use for right now. Uranium oxide, we're not going to use. Steel is super expensive, so be careful. Keep it at a lower percentage. You're not going to need a ton right away, but you want to have some on, on board. Prefab panels, bricks, and boards are relatively cheap, so I'm okay with keeping them at a good at a good number. The the um, cargo station unload percentage that you set applies to whatever you set in the percentages here. So it's 60% of 10% of this load. So it should be about 70 tons of steel and it's going to take a while to run. So just make sure you have your vehicles just running now because you're just going to import everything that you want. Okay, let's set this one up for cosmonaut mode. Use the big hulls. And this is going to be for food, clothes, and um, meat. Very important. Honestly, the meat truck I'm probably going to do differently, and I'll show you why. Um, let's set this one up. Again, it's going to import from here, and it can drop off here. And all I wanted to get is food and clothes. Sorry, food and clothes. Don't unload anything. Load here, food, clothes, about 50% full. Um, same thing as we did for the open storage. Set this up to the levels that you actually care about. Again, mechanical components and electrical components are super expensive, so keep these pretty low. Food and clothes, you want to have enough in here to run what you need. Um, alcohol, you don't need. Fabric, you don't need. Chemicals, you definitely don't need. Um, electronics you don't need at the beginning you need it once you have a radio station set all this up again these two should be pretty low because you only need them for certain um, certain things and once we have that done um, I guess I decided that we should have a meat storage so let's set that up please fit please yep fits no problem um, Connect that, let's get this build, again in dollars, build this in dollars, and then now we can tell this guy to also um, pick up meat and drop off meat, because now we have a meat storage here. Cool! Everything is connected, meat storage, meat again is very expensive, so let's just tell this guy to only, yeah, unload meat 50%, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny at the beginning, but um, you also need it. Okay, now we are really done with the basic setup for construction up to citizens. It will take a little while to load all of this, so do this before you do your citizens because it's just, there's no way to speed this up unless you want to add a lot more trucks. And trucks cost money, there's a couple spaces here, but if you don't need them, don't use them. So, yeah, let's let this just happen the way it is. And that is the end of part two, importing with distribution offices. Part three will be city planning. If you like what you saw, like and subscribe. If you didn't or have some suggestions, let me know what you think. Um, but I'll see you again next time, hopefully. Bye.